With winter on the way, officials on both sides of the Mississippi River are rushing to find housing for hundreds of people without shelter. Many of them can be seen bonding together at pop-up tent city locations all across the metro. Reg Chapman has more on what is being done to get the people who are living outside inside. It's hard to think that they are so cold at night um, and they're, they're lonely and they don't have people to help them. Sherry Wessel and her friends Bonnie and Ramon have spent the day running by campsites set up by people who have no place inside to stay. Well, we got blankets, we have pillows, we have, uh, for the women, we have bras and undies and socks. These encampments are hard to miss. This one sits near 94 and Snelling Avenue in St. Paul. Across the river, Van White Boulevard and 2nd Street North is where a new tent city has emerged. But right now we have about 200 more single adults in shelter than we would have had this time last year. 3,000 a night are homeless in Hennepin County. 80% are housed, leaving more than 600 people a night sleeping where they can. The county is ready to bring 200 additional beds online. So we're not just adding new capacity, we're adding different kinds of capacity with the explicit goal of trying to create spaces that folks who are not currently uh, engaging with the shelter system as it exists. A shelter for the growing number of homeless Native Americans is set to open in days. Avivo will also open its self-contained spaces for people to live within weeks. It's been an all hands on deck partnership that I don't think historically we've ever seen to this magnitude. Ramsey County is creating hundreds of beds for the increased need. Two park and rec facilities, Harriet Island Pavilion and Duluth and Case Rec Center will catch the overflow from the shelter system. Space inside Bethesda Hospital, as well as Stubb Hall on the Luther Seminary campus, has been approved as lease sites for emergency and temporary housing. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. The state and cities are partnering with nonprofits to make sure anyone who wants a warm place inside away from sleeping in tents has a place to go.